Today, we are bike packing to Scotland. So far, I've just ridden to Jimmy's house and I'm sweaty already. I've got some bad news. What's the bad news? We technically might not make it into Scotland, but it's gonna be very close. I don't actually know where the border is. I don't know if we cross it or not. If it's that close, why don't we just go over? Well, I don't know where it is. How am I supposed to find it? North. Just keep going north? Yeah. Still wants me to make a bloody U-turn. Let's just see what happens. I think you'll be all right, because we've only made it to the car wash at the end of your road. The answer to that is probably not. So today's route, 120k, 2,000 meters of elevation. We've actually lengthened it slightly from what we had planned because Jimmy got his work done a little bit earlier. What that means is though, there's a little bit more road than we previously planned, making me on a mountain bike even more of an inconvenience. But it's all good. It's gonna be some off-road at the end and even more off-road stuff tomorrow when we're doing a little loop through Kilda Forest. I'm very well actually. About an hour in. I was a bit nervous at first. Uh, there's a couple of climbs really early on, my heart rate was through the roof and it's really warm. But settle down a bit now, heart rate's come back down. It's a nice, lovely breeze, sun's out. It's nice and easy, enjoy it. It's good to be out on an adventure. So stop smashing it off the front with your e mountain bike. How did you know? Nice accommodation plan for us later, Jimmy. Yeah, it's in your bag. Your bag is full of our accommodation. And my dinner. And my clothes. Oh no, I've got my toothbrush. What's a toothbrush? <laughs> Same as a toothbrush. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, that's a free 35 kph, I like it. Free? No, it's just free rolling. Free roll, free wheeling. Oh, Holy holding. My head is going. Got us dinner. I've already got dinner. You're carrying it. Really? And your dinner now. I've got us a starter then. We're now at the point of no return, Jimmy. We'll probably pass through a couple of very small hamlets which might have the odd shop in, but they'll all be closing relatively soon. They're, uh -oh. not, they're, not, the, they're not the kind of places that will be open at like seven o'clock in the evening. Hopefully, what have we average so far? Uh, 21 kph, which is actually, it's actually a lot faster than I thought. Because every time I glanced down, it was like 15. <laughs> <laughs> Four it was, every price. time I glanced, it was like 15 kph or lower. My heart rate was on 170. So I was like, oh, this is, this is gonna be a long day. Do you wanna swap bikes for a bit? No, of course. Well, actually, you've got the motors in there though, haven't you? Maybe. Bloody hell. Whose route was this? At least it's nice and cool. <laughs> yeah, that was a joke. It's not nice and cool. It's horrible and hot. But it's not Kelso, it's probably like a four on the Kelsometer. I'll take you to Kelso one day, mate. I don't know what that means. You don't want to? I don't. The biggest problem I have is when it's hot, my appetite just goes to zero. Oh, same. I think so that's most like, people. Then you have to like force yourself to eat and it's just like the worst, isn't it? There is, the, the best solution to that is to drink the calories. Is there calories in sugar-free Ribena? Is this dry or is my mouth dry? Big bench or small Jimmy? Both. Update, pretty sweaty, pretty hot. We are on the edge of Kilda Forest now. As you can see, there is trees that look like Kilda Forest. You might recognize them from the media created around the race. 
dirty reva because that's held here at Kielga, all on the gravel tracks around this forest. One race that's definitely on my list to do. I'm guessing they are running it this year. Oh, I've got a sweat in my eyes. Basically, about to go through the forest. We are fully in the middle of nowhere now. Mm -hmm. Well, except for this cafe. It's closer. If we do get into trouble. Like bears. Yeah. Flip this guy. You hold that button down, I think it's for three seconds, it'll say on the screen, and then it'll say, send SOS. And then someone will come rescue us. I believe it's a charity, or a not-for-profit, it's not charity, it's a not-for-profit that Garmin set up called Geo something or other, and they basically field uh, emergency services to anyone that has their GPS tracking devices. Mm. It's also currently sending uh, location pings to uh, Emily. Is that just a UK thing then? No, it's international. Oh, so but this is so what could, so ba basically should have had that in Vietnam and... Probably, yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, so I can, S I can use this and S send an SOS anywhere in the world. I think the caveat is in certain places you might be charged for using that service. We're quite lucky in this country that it's whoever would be sent is free. Yes. So like if, if we needed mountain rescue or coast guard or whatever, it doesn't cost us anything, as far as I'm aware. I think maybe if you set it off just for lols, it might cause a problem. I like how there's a little cat. Safety. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I've butt dialed you. <laughs> Did you, bring, you, you, brought, you brought some, yeah? Do not use more than one spray. Oh no. Oh no. Big bench or small Jimmy? bird and I thought he was just telling us we were going into a tunnel. Wow, it's very beautiful over there. Oh, you okay? This is tough. This is very hard. Last climb of the day. Well, it's at least 10k to go. I think it's more like 12. Current speed is 8 kph. So we've still got 90 minutes. <laughs> Last bit now. Still sweaty. Glad I bought my mountain bike. The off-road section has been great, Jimmy. Jimmy, how are we still cycling? Oh my god. Every time, like, every time I think it's the last direction on the route, there's just another one. How's it daylight still? Oh god, well, it's not going to be for much there. longer. Almost there. I've, I've, I've not, I didn't think it would be this long, so I haven't eaten. And all my food is not accessible. It's inside the wood, tail fin. I'm on the edge of a bonk. The thing is though, like, our last stop at Kielder, which was kind of like the two thirds mark, feels like it was yesterday. Like we've seen some mental stuff though in the last, what? Well, I don't even know what the distance is. Three hours, whatever it is. The last 10K. <laughs> yeah, it has felt like that. Bedtime, Jimmy. I'm gonna have a lovely sleep on the floor. Yes. There's some strange noises in these woods. Oh, you ready to do it all again tomorrow? No, I'm probably gonna get about three hours sleep and then go, oh, fuck it, let's go. Let's just ride home. And then I'm gonna get to the nearest train station.